Hey guys, this is Gus from Hardware Unplug, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a quick review on the Hotline Games 5.0 MOSFET. So these MOSFET are something different to the market. These are MOSFET with designs on the bottom. So the reason I picked, they have two designs on Amazon. The reason I picked these up was because I had the mat, the grips to match. These are called a Battlefire, and they have some other ones with ducks. So they're called the cute duck design, right? So these MOSFET, according to the description, are supposed to offer control, more control to the uh, to your mousepad surface, right? These are supposed to be some smooth and controlled MOSFET. So they're definitely control, right? They give you more control on different all kinds of surfaces. So I tried them on the uh, IKEA pad, the cloth surface. I tried them on the hybrid pad, like the Strider and the All Control Plus. And I tried them on glass MOSFET. And all those surfaces, they offer more control, right? Now, the reason I say they're not smooth is because these edges on here, I feel like they ruined the mouse feet because you can feel the texture of the surface a whole lot more. They sound really loud on the glass mouse pad. I swipe left and right and you can hear the you can hear the um the texture that a whole lot more. Like I'll give you guys an example right now. Like this is with a cloth pad and it's definitely more louder than regular feet. Like for example, maybe these are the core pad here. Let me bring the mic a little bit closer over here. Let me see. Let me see. So these are the moss feet with the core pads. And these are the uh, the battle fire feet, right? The uh, 5.0. So you could definitely hear that a lot more. And not only that, I don't, know, I don't know the camera can tell, but the edges here are really, they're really sharp, right? So there's that. Now, they, like again, my experience with them are actually, they're not total trash. I thought they're gonna be really bad, um, but they do offer that uh, that bit of control. Now, I noticed that when I was using it with IKEA pad, there was, uh, I did have more break to it, and my wing mash shots were really, really freaking crispy. Um, when it came to uh, something like a speed pad, like a um, Skypad 2.0, it did make them a little slower, but not a whole much. Now, when they use something like a Serapad, it did give a little bit more control than the uh, Skypad 2.0. And I feel that's because of the coating on the Serapad that it has, the ceramic coating. I don't know, it just does something to the surface of the feet because it does provide a little bit more control to it than the Skypad 2.0 surface. All right, now here's a Serapad with the Hotline Games 5.0 MOSFET. Now, let's do a quick sound test. Let me see. Let me put the mic a little bit closer. Let me see right here. All right. So as you can see, it's loud, but not too loud. And it does, and it does offer more control, like I mentioned before, than the sky pad. And I feel like it's because of that surface, that coating. Now let's try the uh, sky pad 2.0. So this is the sky pad 2.0. Now it does make him now, it does make them sound a little louder, um, but still, regardless, they're pretty freaking loud, right? And that's pretty like, that's pretty loud, as opposed to something like, uh, not that different, right? but, yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty freaking loud. Okay, now, something like a, for example, let's see, let's just, okay, now, something like a Agmatro Plus, for example, now, it's not that loud, right? But the resist the the surf. So, okay, so with the All Control Plus, when I use the surface on hybrid cloth pads like a Razor Strider or an All Control Plus, it does change the performance on these hybrid moss pads quite a bit, actually. Um, between cloth, cloth and glass, between cloth, glass, and hybrid, the the performance stays almost similar when using cloth and glass pads but when you use something like a hybrid pad it will give you a little bit more a control personally i do not like using these skates with these uh hybrid moss pads and i actually enjoy it a lot more with uh control pads like the uh, ikea pad that's actually my favorite combo with these uh, mouse skates um because my wing wingman shots were pretty f crispy and when it comes to tracking now I'm not able to track as effortless as with using glass, as like glass feet, for example, but there's still some like smooth and speediness to it. It's just that that freaking those sharp edges, they mess with the glide. And that's the reason I cannot recommend these. I feel like Hotline Games could do a much better job in running out the edges on these mouse feet 
And if they do that, I feel like these MOSFET could actually be really uh, really good for some people who want to control on their uh, mouse gates or on their mouse surfaces, right? So yeah, these are good mouse feet if you want control, but that tuggingness, that sharp edges on the mouse feet, I feel like it's going to deter so many people away from it. They're going to place their mouse on their mouse pad and want to use it, and then they're going to freaking, uh, they're going to freaking hate them. They're not even going to use them. Um, another thing to, to mention is there is a breaking period of these mouse feet. The, the friction in this thing were super freaking high when I first got them. It took me about three days of use to actually get them to break down and get uh, get pretty smooth, if I'm being honest. But I can't, like, they're, they want to be smooth, but those edges really, really, really mess with the guide. And for that reason, I cannot recommend them, and I feel like a lot of people are going to hate them. Um, so, yeah, pretty interesting mouse feet. They weren't as bad as I thought they were. I totally crapped on them on Twitter. I'm like, these are... These are pretty bad, but after using it for some time, I actually learned to like them. Um, really good for uh, control. Uh, really good if you want control on your mouse, right? Your mouse pad surface. Um, but that those sharp edges are going to deter a lot of people away, and they're going to mess with the glide on your mouse uh, mouse pad either way. So, yeah, good try. Uh, if you guys are interested, I'm going to leave a link down below because I feel like some people may like them, but many, if not most. Are just gonna stay away, stay away from them. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Okay, so real quick, I was taking out the moss feet, and I fig and I actually figured out that uh, they come off pretty easily, actually. Um, as a matter of fact, when I was taking them out, I noticed that they're actually really flexible, and they do not. You know how sometimes you accidentally bend core pads, and, and they don't go back to the original shape, and it ruins the glide. Well, these actually go back to the original shape, and they look like. They look like you can take them off and put them back in quite a few times before they get completely ruined because the adhesive on the back is actually pretty good too. So, I guess if you're someone who likes to try different moss feet and likes to swap them out all the time, these are actually kind of cool because you could take them off pretty easy, easily and put them back pretty easily too. And they look like you can do that quite a bit before they get ruined. I mean, they're actually really flexible. And, uh... Yeah, they go back to the original shape. You see that? Like, so, that actually, so that's actually kind of freaking cool. Holy crap. Wow. Oh, yeah. I also forgot to mention that Carlos actually hated these moss feet. <laughs> so, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. This is Gus from Howard Plug, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.